Hello, fellow YouTubers, and welcome back to Road to 100,000. <laughs> Last week was pretty good. How many? I, I, I don't remember. We got like, what, 1,020 1, points last week? Uh, this week, uh, not as good. <laughs> Mostly because last week we had the help of CSI. And this week we had no help at all, so... Woo! But let's get to it. Let's put up the points value right now. So the first game we did, obviously, since we still have it, and there's still plenty of achievements to get in it, is Halo the Master Chief Collection. I know, this is what, the fourth week in a row we've seen this game now? Fifth? Fourth? Third? <laughs> I mean, we've had two weeks where it was pretty much nothing but this. And this week is not... Well, this week is a little better, because only half of the achievements are from this. So we got six achievements in Halo the Master Chief Collection, worth 55 points. <laughs> yeah, and I can start seeing that most of the achievements in the Master Chief Collection that we have left are very tiny point values and very long achievements still to get like playlists i still have to play some multiplayer but i'm still waiting until it's a little better although i did get some multiplayer achievements in this yeah that brings our that brings our total up to 67,540 not exactly the best week for halo mostly because i haven't been playing a lot of halo this week <laughs> i've been playing mostly destiny just because i want to try and get prepared for the expansion that comes out next week despite the fact that I don't currently am um, I don't own the expansion <laughs> and I haven't even done everything that's in the base game yet I think right now I'm just trying to get other characters leveled up to around 29 because that's where my hunter is right now and that's where he will stay until I get until I get the ability to run the raid but the next game that we played and the final game that we played for this week was The Walking Dead on the Xbox One. Season one, haven't, I haven't played season two, but I'm waiting until I finish season one before I do this again. I need a little bit of a refresher court since the last time I played season one was around Christmas of 2012. Anyway, so in The Walking Dead season one, got seven achievements in that game worth 150 points, bringing our total of the week up to 205. And our grand total so far up to sixty-seven thousand six hundred and ninety. Yeah, so we didn't we didn't really do that much. Two hundred and five points this week. Woohoo! That is that is not enough to keep up on pace. <laughs> Speaking of pace, let's get to those percentages. So yeah, one point nine four percent is the typical percentage change that we expect to be in one week. So we're now sitting at forty-seven point thirty-seven percent towards the end date so we're we're going to reach halfway by maybe by christmas no we have in two weeks in the in uh week week uh week 12 or episode 11 that'll be the halfway point and so we'll have 26 more weeks before we have to make it <laughs> unfortunately we only we uh we only went from 31.9 percent to 32.4 percent which is a change of half a percent <laughs> so yeah we we did 20 we, we did only 25 percent of the goal this week like i said goals should be around 900 to 1000 per week and i am i am still behind on pace by a lot although although i did just get a new game from gamefly so i could play through this game i have i have this is one of those games where i did already a thousand point it on the one but it's one of those games that's on both the one and the 360. So I'm gonna try and a thousand point that over the week. Should be very difficult because it's one of those ones that take a long time to finish. Not to mention, I still have The Walking Dead and I haven't beaten that one and that should be a very easy game to complete as well once I actually start playing through the story. And I didn't, I didn't even I didn't even touch the game that I talked about last week that I could easily 1,000 point because I started it and then I realized that it was going to take forever to get any of the other achievements. But hopefully I can start working on that as well. Most of the most of this week was spent going towards long long timed achievements basically. Like I'm still working on the exotic achievement for Destiny. I technically could have gotten it this week, but I didn't want to waste an exotic shard, especially with the entire change happening. Uh, next Tuesday with the, with that stuff and Halo yeah I did I actually got an achievement today for Halo and uh, 
it's technically what, I, what the video is in Halo 4. Basically trying to run through Assault in the Control Room as quick as possible because the part time for that is around 15 minutes. I got 15 minutes and 5 seconds on the last time I ran it, so I stopped playing Halo after that because it made me angry. But I did get it. I did get it. I got 1337 as a time, so yay, I'm elite. Anyway, until next week, which will hopefully be better than this week, hopefully you enjoy. <laughs>